So we are going to study carbons and carbonic compounds. See, there are two different components which we are going to have a uh, understanding on this process. So carbon and carbonic compound. So carbonic compound is uh, something that the part of carbon is attached with a different kind of element. It can be uh, different metals. It can be certain kind of uh, uh, metalloids or pure carbon, which is come from the natures. So we have a natural carbon called as come from the plant kingdom or come from the vegetable point of view. That is called as carbo vegetalis. Uh, carbon which come from the animal kingdom that is called as carbo animalis and a different component the pure form of carbon is as you all know the diamond which is a purest 100 percent of the carbon and very tough and hard to break so the sooner in the industries of diamonds so everybody knows to that so we are dealing with the carbon so today we are going with the carbonicum basic group studies so uh, we all know that it is naturally abundant as a non-metallic element mm -hmm. and as I rightly said that it is inorganic and organic compound all compound is composed of carbon without carbon one cannot survive so carbon is the necessity of everything apart from the oxygen the carbon is the again what we call as husband wife relationship so if, if uh, both have to survive that they have to be there so carbon and oxygen so when we breathe our cell so we take the oxygen inside and carbon comes out so this is what we have uh, abundant of carbon in our life and the atomic number in a periodic table is a 6 and it is tetravalent so that means uh, it is of that a uh, 4 electron is attached with the carbon and it forms a different 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 components of the carbon. So uh, pure carbons and carbonates. So I rightly said that the pure carbon is carbo waste, carbo animal is carbolic acid, carbonium sulf, petroleum and graphite. These are the pure form of the carbon. Whereas again marble. Marble is also pure form of carbons. Another is a crayonzoid. It is also pure form, uh, pure form of carbons. Another remedy which comes into this carbon group, it is called as upion. Upion. Okay. It is called as a, it is a remedy, a remedy prepared from the wood tar. It is a pure form of carbon and it is a tar. So it is a wood tar. It was not mentioned in this presentation, but it, upion. I will let you know the uh, importance of upion in the clinical practice. Uh, carbonates. So in a carbonate form we have a ammonium carb, parieta carb, magnesium carb, natrium carb, calcarea carb, calcium carb and chlorophyll. So this is what I just uh, highlighting point of pure carbon and carbonate. So let's study. What is the role of carbon in our body? So it displays O2 from blood to the body. You know, see what happens when we inhale. O2 goes inside, again from O2, the carbon comes out, so it displays O2 and it goes out, blood from the body. So this is what it is helping in the process called as respiration. And without respiration, without prana, no animal or human can survive. So this is what the basic importance is, the air and the, is the importance of the constitution. When we have a carbon accumulating in body, what we call as when the carbon is more accumulated in body, what do we call this? As a emergency department, we have respiratory acidosis and metabolic alkalosis. So metabolic alkalosis represents that there is carbonate is accumulated into our body and which lead into development of the respiratory alkalosis. Uh, respiratory acidosis, this is the vice versa. Okay, so in that, what happened? 
the respiration become disturbed, which we call as postural respiration, <laughs> cane stroke respirations, and this is what condition called as air hunger. So when you find a uh, last stage of uh, patient presentations and they started having air hunger, you can think of the carbon is the hand. because the basic role of carbon is like. So most of the, uh, we, when we uh, comes into uh, contact with this understanding of this remedy, we have the air hunger in process. So air hunger as a constitution, so we have to understand the uh, carbon as a pure form. So when we understand the carbon as a pure form, we have to understand the charcoal. So charcoal can be derived from the two components, either from the vegetable form or either from the animal form. So what is charcoal? When the wood is wood get burns and finally the black part of that remain, that is called as a charcoal. So what is that charcoal? The charcoal has a capacity that it is not flame, so wood has flame. When wood got burns, it becomes black like a carbon. So there is no flame inside, but the charcoal has capacity to again flame itself, but not like a wood, you know, like a, uh, like a fire, but there is a slow simmering type of fire and that fire requires what, when you give air to that things, then that fire gets blown up, again it simmers, blown up, again it simmers, blown up, again it simmers. So this is something the charcoal characteristic is slow and slimmery, you know, the fire just simmers. Without blowing the air, the fire cannot come, again blow, then it becomes brighter, when uh, it cannot blow, become again subsides. So this is what something called as a lingering fire. So when there is a lingering fire, something same thing happen into our human body also, when the carbon is accumulated in our body. Say for example in metabolic alkalosis. So what happens? Our body gets slow, our vitality gets down. So there is a process of homeostasis become down and there is a slowness and the conditions get not healed properly. So this produce lead to the lingering of complaints. You know? Now how it how it happens? So initially there is a flame. So fast flame goes into simmering and simmering goes into slowness. So this is what something happens when you find uh, acute life threatening disorders, acute life threatening illness into patients and that patients finally end up with the slowness, sluggishness and lingering of that chronicity of complaint, laxness, looseness and everything. Then you can think of carbon as a remedy. You know, carbon, you cannot find pure soric state of carbon. Many a time in your clinical entry point or in your clinical uh, applications of the carbon, you must find always a psychotic or a syphilitic state of carbon only. No pure soric form of carbon. You cannot prescribe carbon in an acute soric stage. Except some of the gastric elements. Except some of the gastric. Element. But that gastric element is also has a part of psychosis because there is a slowness, sluggishness leading to the accumulations, uh, irritations, gaseous discharge, offensiveness. So this is what something when you find acute life threatening disorder. Say for example, if a patient suffer from dengue and after he recover from dengue, he develop hypertension. No, this is something called as a different variant, but this is a slow sluggishness of the process. Sometimes a patient having a, a acute fever, viral fever, and goes with the varicosities of the vag and swelling, chronic. So when you find this kind of personality, the person suffering from the typhoid, and after typhoid, patient becomes slow, sluggish, and obese, and no vital activity is going on. Can think of. So when you find never well seen from certain disorders which is acute life threatening. Say for example nowadays it is we have uh, acute COVID. 
so the person who suffering from after covid many patient come sir bahut haak lage che kai maza nahi aavti mood nahi aavto bahut weakness lage che ab sir covid jo tyar pachi che ne sharir aakhu badlai gyu che so that is something called as a acute life threatening condition goes into pure psychosis you can think of karma are you getting me so what is that the fire get extinguished if there is no air so fire is gone burns quietly producing ash which is not easily shed off see you have to understand incense stick so what is incense stick is when you fire that there is a fire then slow lingering simmering fire is going on and above that fire there is a ash is developing and that ash is attached to that part only you know once you blow then fire flame again it goes into simmering so in formation of the charcoal when the fire is settled in the jungle char remain in the wood so what is that they want air in motion because without air they cannot again blow so this is what something that want air in motion or want fan in net so most of time we need this process so what happens when this happen in our body we uh, if we are air hunger or if we become a slow so what happen our vitality gets form into this following categories so what for following category there is a slowness of activity slowness of activity at the level of homeostasis so homeostasis lead to the first is circulations a b c we have to understand airway breathing and circulation so what happen airway airway goes more accumulation of carbon so there is a low vitality slowness of the circulation slow metabolic activity so when there is a metabolism is slow what happen the development of the atp is less so there is no generation of the heat so heat is become less so they want again heat also <coughs> so there is no heat so there is something see there is no light so there is darkness so same way there is no heat there is something called as coldness so coldness predominates and that coldness predominates is the most commonest form of the carbon so most carbons are chilly most carbons are air hunger again when you put a coal and apply some water in it absorb that so what is that it has a tendency to absorb everything either moisture or bad odors so initial stage of life in 90s or in 80s century when the initial initiation of the refrigeration comes so one problem is that when they put a food into refrigeration there is a stale a smell of a stinky smell of vegetables so to remove that smell they put some charcoal into refrigeration that charcoal can absorb every bad smell so this is what absorption capacity so due to that absorption capacity they have a tendency called as they needs water they need to be thirsty exactly opposite to ammonium ka ammonium does not want water because water gets lodged into and they aggregate so ammonium are thirstless whereas carbons are thirsty again okay. the same way this absorption capacity can absorb every this uh, disorders or a uh, bad order <coughs> orders so in bad orders it is act as a deodorant and it act as a disinfectant okay so basically uh, carbon at mental level are very timid right sided anxious money minded very slow development of the disease so when a person comes to you they say that apne puche ke this how long you are suffering from so patient said Sir, I had this eczema since 20 years. I had this uh, swelling of my lower limbs and very <coughs> small veins, which is looking like a very cold since 20 years. So we asked, what was happened to the years back? So he said that I had pneumonia, I had typhoid, and after that typhoid, this happened. But okay, I am okay with that. But my activity gets slow. So this is what something they are very slow in development of the disease. You know. 
the side is very important for our understanding so right side so when there is a right sided the left brain is active so left brain represent a strongness left brain represent a logical calculative mind but being a right sided and a person's mentality is very very timid then you can think for remedy calcarea kali carbons and baryta so in that we have to understand the carbon is the one of the component are you getting me okay when you think of money minded remedy you can think of calcarea you can think of lycopodium you can think of pulsatilia you know this arsenic very very money minded remedy so this is what right sided remedy timid remedy so most of right sided remedy is more prone to the money whereas left sided is more prone to the emotions arts so to understand carbon we have to understand that see we see that the slow development of the disease so why this is slow development of disease so when there is any major illness disturb the metabolism of the body so when the person says never well since from that disease and that leading to disturbances of the metabolism of the body say for example person comes to us with the hypothyroidism no hypothyroidism and there is a slowness obesity and tiredness weakness and patient says that sir mane dengue ho jayo to then after after 2 months i got uh, diagnosed that i had a hypothyroidism hypothyroidism so this is what never since that acute illness so metabolism get slow this stuff. so reaction is what slow and lingering so which leading to the development of the homeostasis processes stresses when we have a mind a word stresses comes into mind we have the remedy comes into mind is sepia as mithul gas has mentioned in his book of sepia that sepia represents stresses so when we have a stresses we have to combine with the sepia also so sepia has also stresses sepia has also looseness same as carbon but the sora of the sepia is different and the sora of the carbon is different you know so now of the sepia is existence so they have to fight for existence being an animal remedy they have a fighter kind of constitution whereas being a carbon remedy is a very slow lingering process is going on which lead to stasis and sluggishness no fighting they want just the safety and security i don't want to fight so this is the sora is safety whereas in a sepia the sora is existence so they mean to be a very weak they mean to be a very weak immune system and not get back easily sir iska immune system wo bimari hua tab se ye theek hua hi nahi that is what the word patient is telling to you weak immune system since that illness so most of time when you find never well since so when you find never well since puberty we have pulsatilla never well since menopause you have grippetis lecasis semisifuga every remedy which we thought of okay never well since that burns we have a posticum never well since that pneumonia we have a carbovage kalika never well since of the typhoid we have again carbovage so this is what never well since from that acute inflammatory disorder are you getting me so stasis now what stasis represents stasis of all metabolic activity so most of our metabolism goes into slowness so what happen it produce slowness at different different level specifically at our major system called as cardiovascular systems gastrointestinal systems and in the body as well as the <coughs> mind so it represent the miasm hypopsychosis <coughs> sorry the process of hypopsychosis at the level of genetics so how hypopsychosis represented particular system as well as particular part of the body as well as at the level of mind so we have to understand so response of the cells 
So every cell responds in a particular genetic pattern. So we understand the genetic level that it is a hypopsychosis and hypopsychosis leading to slowness. So what happens at the level of cellular level? There is a slow inactivity. So what is the metabolism of the cell become slow? So when the metabolism of the cell becomes slow, what happens? There is a low, low energy, low vitality, okay? no storage of energy. So when there is a no storage of energy, what they need? They need more something. So they started accumulating something. But again accumulations can lead to the process of that the nutrition cannot be utilized because they also accumulate wealth source of. So nutrition get stopped. So there is a slowness of this, uh, nutrition. When the nutrition is slow, ATP is slow. So what happens? The response becomes slow. The reaction becomes very slow. And to that, there is something that is called as the synthesis is also slow and excretion is also slow. So this is what cellular mechanism. So there is a synthesis of the slow protein. And there is a low excretion, slow excretion of certain waste products. So this is what a cellular response because of the genetic pattern called as hypopsychosis. So miasm is psychosis as a defense used by the carbon. Thus, so we have the word, we have to understand carbon by these few words. That is slowness, stasis, thickening, endurations, tumor and hardness. So this is something called as we have to understand a miasmatic perspective of the inner cellular defense mechanism. Are you getting me? So this is what a thickening and induration happen because of excess of fibrin. Tumor, hardness, excess of fibrin. Stasis because of laxness of the elastins. So this is what slowness because of laxness of the elastin. So resulting in what happened? When this, this pi component resulting into the process called a general slowness at the physical as well as mental level. So, you know, when the coal is there, you have to correlate with this. I, I advise you, uh, incense stick. You have to blow the incense stick, then it comes the light. Again, it goes into simmer. So, this is what there is a slowness. So, you have to give more stimulus. Air is needed. So, what the carbon needs? Stimulus. You rightly said, why carbon need more stimulus? Because there is a slowness of the process, metabolism. Okay? General slowness at the physical and mental level. So, to, there is a slowness. It also accumulates many things into their cellular component. Condition as a body, principles, system on the vacation. Say for example, as body principle system is on a vacation. So that is it. Someone is on vacation, there is no working is going on. But there is only slowness, slowness, slowness. So when there is a slowness at the GIT, what happens? Accumulation of the food goes into and that food cannot go down. So it ferment, ferment, ferment. It produces more and more gaseous things like carbons and that carbons is fermentation goes into either upward going it is called as reductation and downward going it is called as flatulence so but the flatulence is because of slow excretions of the toxins so that toxins also are more because it is accumulated inside more and more and more so that lead to offensiveness <coughs> and again there is a more accumulation of the carbon into body so that leads to the process called as air is more needed because air is for the circulation to working on so there is air in there are you getting me so now what happened it happened everything at connective tissue levels so carbon act on connective tissue <coughs> and it act on the blood blood vessels bones muscles Elastin, fibrins are affected. So all the structure or building block of the carbon. So because carbon is a component of everyone. There is everywhere the carbon is there. Because what we learn in the first slide, it is a component naturally abundant in every organic and inorganic cells. So this is what it happens most of in all the components. 
So what happened? There is a laxity of connective tissues. So these are all connective tissues, blood, blood vessels, bones, muscles, elastin, spine. <coughs> Sorry. So there is a laxity of connective tissue which we call as a elastin less. So the reduced elastin, it is again a psychosis less. So low elastin protein because low synthesis. What we see in response to the cellular level, the synthesis of the protein is low. Okay. So low synthesis of the protein which lead to the laxity. And laxity at the level of body, at connective tissue particularly, it produces lax fiber. If it is at a muscular level, it produces lax fiber. It, it, it is a round ligament, it produces a prolapse conditions. At a venous level, it produces a piles. Again, it produces at a portal circulation, it is a serviceness of circulations. And at the veins of the leg, it produces varicose. City because the veins of the, the musculatures of the veins become lax, so they become tortuous. So, this is what varicosity. So, this is what reduced elastins. Are you getting me? In GIT, what happens? Everything becomes slow down. So, in slow down, there is a digestion becomes slow. So, once the digestion becomes slow, the excretion becomes slow. So, what happens? The process is called as constipation. So slow excretions of the dirt, when there is a dirt is accumulated somewhere, what happens? It produces offensiveness of discharge. So and the fermentation. So fermentation leads to the distension of the abdomen. So in respiratory tract, what happens? In a respiration, the respiration becomes slow. So when there is a respiration becomes slow, no exhalations of the carbon comes out. <coughs> so there is offensiveness of the breath because the toxin can be slowly comes out. So toxin is uh, giving rise to the offensiveness and in the in bargain they want more air. So respiration become different. Cosmos or cane stock type of respiration so there is an air hunger and once the respiration is not proper so this leads to the easy fatigability. So we have a weakness. In cardiovascular systems so what we see A, B, C, airway, breathing and circulation. So in a cardiovascular circulation what happens? Slowness of the heart beats. Because by slowness the muscles of the heart, the fibrin and uh, elastins of elastic, uh, elasticity of the muscles becomes less. So the heart becomes relaxed which we call as a cardiomegaly. Uh, and there is a slowness of the heart beat so which we call as a bradycardia. Sluggish circulation due to slowness of the heart, the circulation becomes slow. So sluggishness of the circulation. So there is a sluggishness of circulation along with there is a relaxed blood vessels. So when there is a blood vessel is relaxed and it cannot come back to the heart again. No. The heart is a mechanism that from heart to the peripheral part of the body and from peripheral part to the heart. So when the heart is pumping slowly to the peripheral part, from peripheral part it passively does not come to the heart. So what happens, the peripheral parts get more carbon dioxide. So that more carbon dioxide lead to the bluishness of the part and that bluishness and sinuses because lack of oxygenation and finally lead to the process called as accumulation at the subcutaneous tissues and it produces a capillary bleeds and a chymosis. So this is what you have to understand at the cardiovascular level. What happens in portal system? In a portal system, the uh, less of elastin resulting into long standing hemorrhoids. So, patient says 20 years, hemorrhoids since 20 years. I used to take medicines. There is a bleeding sometime, but I had 20 years of hemorrhoids. So, this is what long standing less of elastin resulting into hemorrhoids and varicose vein may be because of slowness of portal circulation and the bleeding is always passive okay dark bleeding always less another component at the particular level of a carbon group is a fibrin excess so in a fibrin excess see one there is a two component the 
two protein synthesis. One is the elastin synthesis. So elastin is less synthesized, whereas the fibrin, fibrin is more synthesized. Now why the fibrin is more synthesized? So when there is a slowness, they need they need to drop down. So to to need to drop down, they have to hold something. So some protein is making that you have to protect them. So that protection they are more in a fibrin form. So it produces hardness. So what happens? It covers the surface. So mostly it covers the skin. So in a in a skin it produces cones, callosity, calloids, and hardness of the skin. So most of time why? Because they need safety and in a, a safety for that. Cells has get affected, so they produce it. Is a safety is not there, so I need to make it hard. So there is a hardness at the surface. Okay. Again, this happen at the blood vessels also. So in the interior, see blood vessels has a two component. One is the outer wall of the blood vessels. One is the intima of the blood vessels. So in the intima of the blood vessels, there is the accumulations of the fibrin, and it produce a narrow down of the. blood vessels okay why because outer wall is relaxed so there is accumulation and blood has to flow so body again produce inner wall is a thickening because if narrow karega to hi aake jayega na nahi to jayega nahi kyunki bahar se to phula diya hai so that lead to again atherosclerotic changes so there is a two component relaxness as well as atherosclerotic changes both are there in the same patients you know so this lead to the atherosclerosis and thickening of the blood vessels again there is a mesodermal affections called as a gland in a gland it produce a hardness because gland is for the protection gland gives a nutrition a nurturance so in that there is a increase of proteins and there is a hardness ischemia again what happen the circulation becomes slow so the brain get less of nutrition less of nutrition in terms of oxygenation in terms of carbo uh, carbohydrates so that lead to ischemia at the level of brain so when there is a ischemia what happen at the brain level brain cannot function properly and if the brain cannot function properly brain goes into shutdown or slowness so this slowness represent at the brain level as forgetfulness as weakness of the memory or absent mindedness Are you getting me? How this fibrin excess lead to this process? Again, due to atherosclerosis, also there is a ischemia of the brain, and due to slowness of circulation, also there is ischemia of the brain. So do, do both things can lead to this process, and this leading to this forgetfulness, confusion, weakness, and absent mindedness. So are you getting me? This why this ischemia of brain it happen in both way, either in a elastin less or either in a fibrin excess. So what happen ultimately? The cells get less of stamina. So for cells has a weakness, tiredness, and fatigue. So most of the time every cellular function has this three component and the carbon. At the mental level, we have to understand the carbon is very, very conscientious type of memory. So they are given into stage of anxiety and so on. So it can be pure carbon or it can be carbonate also. So we have anxiety conscientious memory as the ammonium carb, sulfuria, carbonate memories, carbonyls, carbonium salt, graphite, black carb, and calcium carb. family so it is a tetravalent a very strong bond with the hydrogen atom to build a number of organic and inorganic structures little apprehension in the beginning of the relationship very attached to the family because once the carbon bond is there there is a permanent bond so they are very attached to the family want to live like like family with everyone because they are what core bond and have sensitive to every So as organic component, we have to understand it has a four 
determinant. So it is like a so family. So in a family, they are very sensitive to every relationship. So what are the sensitivity? Sora. I said that the sora of the carbon is very less, but when it goes into psychosis, it is a vast psychosis, and finally it end up into syphilis. So what are the sora of this? The sora of that is they are sensitive to horrible sad story like calcarea. They are easily frightened. And most of the time the chronic soropsychotic element is called as grief, which can lead to the obesity. So this is they are sensitive to these three things. So finally they end up with the slowness. So all carbons out of apprehensions and low energy that goes into slowness, not able to move quickly and taking more time than usual because it is something like a coal. No, so coal has something that it is burns, but slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. So that slowness is expressed at the level of mind also. So we have expressness of inexpressiveness or expressiveness of the mental aspect. So slowness of to express. So it can lead to the introvertedness, and the introvertedness is all. So most of all carbon goes into state of. Introvertedness, because of there is a timidity, because of there is a cowardiceness, because of there is a one of the apprehensiveness in the soric state. So when you find this cowardiceness, apprehension, and timidity, you can think of either a calcarea, you can think of either a beretta, you can think of either a silicia, you can think of the pulsatilla, you can think of the lycopodium also. But finally, they land up into the psychosis. Then you understand this is carbon. You know, so this is what they are tolerated in the tachycardicity. That means talk indisposed to. So talk indisposed to, alternating with the timidity. So when you think of timidity, we have a fourth big group: Bereda, Elkeria, Kali, and the fourth one is Karma. And it is introverted. So expression is also goes into slowness, inexpressiveness. They express one thing called as anger, and that anger is expressed also is like in a timid way. You know, the very important aspect of carbon is carbon is being a timid remedy. Then anger is also not expressed as like fire. It is also like a simmering. So in simmering, anger is something the expression is changed, and that expression is called as sarcasm. So we have to understand what is sarcasm. You know. So the dictionary meaning of the sarcasm is the use of remark which clearly means the opposite of what they say and which are made in order to hurt someone's feeling or to criticize something in a humorous way. You know, I need to tell something, I need to criticize something, but not in a direct way. So if it is in a direct way, then it is something different way of presentation. And if it is in an indirect way of expressing anger or criticizing someone or need to say opposite of anything, it is called as sarcasm. Are you getting me what is sarcasm? If it is in a direct way, then it is called as contemptuous. It is called as slander. But it is in an indirect way, it is called as sarcasm. Are you getting me? Very easy. So in Gujarati we call it kataks. In Hindi it is called tiana, tana marna, or vyan. Okay. So mocking or contemptuously ironic remark intended to wound another, but in a humorous way. In a humorous way, tend to sneer, ridicule, or and reproach others by cutting expressions or taunts in order to offend or wound. Another. So this is what the clear cut intention. I need to tell anything directly, but I am not telling directly in terms. But I am giving in a taunt way. I am giving in a different way of. But it is a humorous way. So the persons who hear that, like they can understand that they are telling me. But everybody else in the world, they understand that this is just joke apart. So this is something called as mocking sarcasm. 
So we have smoking sarcasm, we have a 30 remedy. Out of 30 remedy, the carbon are the three marks in this sarcasm. So we have carbovis and graphitis. They express their anger in terms of sarcasm and a mocking. Are you getting me? So let's have some video example of this. We have some uh, video on understanding of just a sarcastic speech. Level, 
so physical level having a depleted vital energy because of everything is slow so there is a low combustion of the food so low combustion of the food means the food got inside it is digested slowly so slow digestion leading to the slow conversion of the ATP so there is a low ATP and low ATP may lead to the basal metabolic rate is going down so when the basal metabolic rate is going down what happens the body start accumulating fat so they goes into roundedness they goes into obesity they goes into fattiness and this lead to what happen low bmr low atp so when this low atp in low bmr the vital heat is low and they finally lead to sluggishness and weariness so most of the fatty people who are very sluggish there are remedy obese and yet active the remedy is opium obese and yet active the remedy is opium Now mercury is there also obese and active. What happen at mental level? See due to this slowness, sluggishness, what mind tells? They are very down to earth. They are simple, matter of the fact approach to the life, uncomplicated intellect, not egoistic, no discipline. This is something at the mental level. So why? Because it is because of intellect got dull. So what happened? The mental dullness tendency, which aggravate from mental exertion. So every exertions can lead to dullness. What happened in Bharata Kab? Bharata Kab is mentally dull. Kalkira Kab is keep calculation inability and mental exertion aggravate. Natrum Kab comprehension slow. Kalkira Kab carbohydrates memory active only. Parata cup, Kilkira cup, comprehension easy. So this is what dullness represent. There is a selflessness, not enough self and lack of confidence. So when you find selflessness, that means there is no identity. So identity is compromised. <coughs> so there is confusion. So confusion of identity. So what carbon goes into confusion of identity? gender identity disorders so male get confused i am male or female female get confused i am female or male so either they are effeminate or they are manish yes. both have the remedy is platina and in the manish there is a carbo wage also so this is what there is selflessness so in selflessness they have a theme of giving and doing so they are duty and responsible mostly found in kalkira ka Sensitive to serve in a quieter way, very bold, like Nectarum cup. Sensitive, but serve in a quieter way, like incense stick. I am burning, but I am giving a fluorescent smell to the environment. So this is they are sensitive and quieter. Duty plus give value to the truth. Kali cup. Kali cup has a feeling that moralistically I am a good, so my moral has to be maintained. Okay. So duty plus moral, passive, look sweet, no reaction. But this is the Bharata cup. They are passive. Passive means they are totally dependent on someone else. There is no responsibility at all. So all are selfless except Kalkira cup. Kalkira cup are very selfish, very egoistic. Remedy. Most carbon <coughs> activity ever than do because slowness of everything they don't want activity. Exertion, exertion. Only be a, a desire activity they do. जे जरूर हो एक बार बार. If it is needed, absolutely needed, then it can be do. These are the most indolent, most laziest of material America. These are carbon. They are sensitive and affectionate. They have anticipations in a soric stage, but when they goes into psychosis. They become avaricious because they, they are accumulating everything. Even dirt can they accumulate. This is avariciousness. They have a cares and worries full of. They are childish at the mental level, but their will is very coward and timid. And the expressions at the emotion level, they are very grief. So grief can lead to the psychosis. Most carbons are right-sided. They are complexions, tired, fatigued, laxity. Affected on the skin and glands, air anger, 
there is a representation reaction the boldness collapse collapse when you find the collapse in a collapse we have a camphor and carbonyl so what happen in a collapse in a collapse stage there is a coldness of the body the coldness external internal heat is lacking on in both carbonyl and camphor but what happen carbonyl wants fanning when near whereas in a camphor they wants fanning again they get wants fanning they goes very very chilliness they of the pen again there is a weakness again there is a collapse so when this is alternating state chilliness alternate with coldness and then fanning on and off you can think of camphor in a last stage whereas in a carbonyl there is a coldness slowness sluggishness wants fanning from near are you getting me so due to that there is a obesity and sun aggravation except strontium carb strontium carb is the remedy which is sun is the energy for them so sun is emulating all complex in strontium carb so moral so morally the carbons are very good they are sympathetic they are love family they are affectionate because in the soric stage they wants balance bond and tetravalent so they are very sympathetic towards four point they are love families because they wants bond from the everyone they are affectionate they are careful charitable responsible religious and they have sensitive to that that's why they are affected by the grief so we have a different different remedy can get like a graphite is that of petroleum so out of that more there is a bad moral what bad moral when they got hurt they started going into one reaction called as sarcasm so sarcasm is mostly expresses the anger so in anger they express, they are either abrupt they goes into abusiveness they goes into cruelty they goes into liar they goes into deceitfulness goes into kleptomania so kleptomania is for selling money because all carbons are money minded remedy so they goes into making money by means of any things so this is lacking of moral maliciousness moral feeling want of see one sympathetic person in a sora morally bad goes into one sympathetic in circles we have a carbovage soric anger which cannot be expressed but which can be expressed in syphilis as a rage all carbons and spit desire to so this is what all carbons and carbonicals sexual fears so they are very very sexual carbons are very very sexual so they have a amorous feeling effeminates man is what i said in effeminates and man is because there is a confusion of their identity the lasciviousness lewdness again this confusion of identity also lead to the morally attached to the same sex that's why they goes into this form also because of sexual sphere okay so lascivious lewdness hypomania and shamelessness will so there is a timidity but there may be positive will in a certain remedy so they become either ambitious business apt for most of money minded goes into business man so business apt for the natrum carb is the only carbon which is very courageous all are cowards so that the natrum carb is a courageous positive remedy all carbons are obstinate and optimistic they have passions and ambitions all carbons are introverted but parita carb is extroverted you know parita carb is extroverted he cannot understand what is the gravity of situation that's why they are being extroverted they tell the truth to anyone in the last let minute i has given us that insight what are the negative will of that carbons so most of carbons are timid coward and pessimistic so we have all the carbon in this point so we have to understand extroverted introverted will moral so out of that we have to differentiate the process they are discouraged and the reaction is always taciturn talk in this post to and finally they end up into state of indifference intellect so in a good intellect level there are memory active in a certain point comprehension easy uh, uh, concentration is easy 
idea is good, clear thoughts, precocity, but when the, this intellect is clouded, there is absent-mindedness, aversion to change, concentration difficult, concentration dull, finally you end up into confusion, irresolution, cannot take decision out of it, mistakes makes in all, either in the calculations, numbers, time, sense, everywhere, and mathematics in your phone. So in that all carbon is there. So this is what, when you have to understand, the intellect of carbon is very weak. General, so all carbons are average except strontium top, industrious, Baraita carb, Lekira carb, Natural carb, Mac carb, business minded, Lekira carb, Folic acid, graft, this anxiety business about, so all Baraita carb, Lekira carb, and Natural carb. Sensitivity, so all, see, I am giving you just all carbons and carbonicums component not just carbovage or carbo animals. So in that sensitivity to criticism, sensitivity to music, sensitivity to noise, sensitivity to sensual impressions, sentimental, sensitivity to startling, sensitivity to grief and horrible sad story affect profoundly. So all carbon has this sensitivity. Ailment from, most of ailment from, they are very anticipatory in nature. A apprehensive in nature, so anticipation gets aggravated. Emotions, mostly the pride get aggravated. <coughs> Mortification, especially in calcarea, carb, carbo animals, carbo waste, graphite is and petroleum, because petroleum has an angry remedy and there is a notification which aggravates. And most of ailment never well since then acute illness. <coughs> Low energy. So due to that low energy in all carbon, what the reactions the seed incline to? Always. They have weariness, they have weakness of the joints, they have sluggishness, rest emulates, like brown. Reaction lack of, relaxation physical, desire to lie down, lassitude, exertion physical aggravates and indolence. So most I said is laziest and indolence kind of the process. So what? <coughs> physical general. So at physical general, the connective tissue is affected. So in connective tissue, it affects on the blood vessels, bone complaints, necrosis of the bones, specifically necrosis of the femur in tonsil calf. Okay? Varicose vein, all carbons has a varicose vein. Stagnation of the blood, lift up, aggravate the muscles and tendons and shortness of the tendons. Why shortness? Fibrin excess. It, it shortens the tendons. Circulation. So in circulation, it produce coldness, end up into collapse. In a cancerous condition, it produce metastatic lesions, and finally leads into loss of fluid in form of hemorrhage. So most of carbon has a hemorrhage, but it is a passive hemorrhage. We have a creosote, in creosote, insanity after hemorrhage. So when the person says that uh, mental disorders, either a forgetfulness or some mental disorders or a delirious conditions, after a certain acute hemorrhagic stage, like a piles bleeding or may say uh, female have a menstrual disorders, acute bleeding and after that they goes into this state, you can think of Creosote, provided the indication of the creosote is rapidity, putridity and offensiveness of the all discharge. Okay. General characteristic. So change, obesity, aspirations, milk aggravations, menses after aggravations, questions aggravations. So anywhere exertions which in uh, which get aggravations, perspiration scouring. Perspiration offensive, all the discharge are offensive, either a mouth discharge or either a stool or the urine or either a perspiration, all are offensive. Salivation is profuse. Observations, when you find what kind of person comes into your clinic, the observation, when you think of this, the person is a bloated face, you can think of karma. Seek expression on the face. Toxic look of pulses because of slowness of everything. Freckles. Accumulations of the 
pigment on the skin. This is freckles. Whisker hairs. In durations of the glands, the glands become hard and thick. Tongue is white, and the person is obese. You can think of carbon. These are the so entry point of the carbons. Legs fiber, obesity, speed is slow, stasis, hog indisposed to, light desire for, sensitive, timid, mild, affecting on the tissue, no yielding. They are not yielding. Okay? Chilly, thirsty, right sided, and offensive discharge. So when to think of carbon? So the extreme weakness since more than one years. Most of the time when, when we think of weakness, out of proportion to illness, we first remedy thought is arsenic alpha. Okay? Second remedy despair of recovery and weakness so on. But when there is an extreme weakness since more than one year, say for example, say COVID, say apaji, man, majad nuthi aavdi, weakness, weakness in lage. This is extreme weakness since one year. You can think of carbon. Cardiopulmonary disease with the cold perspiration on a slight exertion. Most of the time the person suffer from the cardiopulmonary disorders. So in that case, everything, either a CCF, pulmonary edema, pulmonary embolisms, or a patient have a tendency, a past history of the pneumonia, person have a cardiomyopathy. So these all disorders will leading to slight exertions with the cold perspiration. You can think of Slow growing tumor in the brain or slow growing pathology, you can think of. Be our is a brain tumor, this is a slow growing, very very slow growing. This carbon. Chronic acidity and indigestion in 10 to 15 years. You know, slowness at the level of digestion, dyspepsia. So, dyspepsia of 10 to 15 years, you can think of carbon. Low relapsing fever, not responding to the treatment. Fever, low type. No one who saw a weapon, teach it. All eight by all that, all eight for how they teach it. I like that. Lower so most of them tubercular type of personality. Proliferative tendency of the patient, large scale, warts, cones, etc. So, in a proliferative tendency, they are having a cancerous condition. The cancer person who suffer from long standing cancer, 10 years, 15 years, but patient never die. This is also carbon because carbon is slow. You know, tumor which is slow, very important. So person cannot die out of this cancer. This is carbon. So we have positive. So let's study. Carbo so carbo everything I have expressed in the whole carbon group or carbonicum group. So carbon is slow chronic disease, often major illness after acute life threatening disease. So I said you that thing. Either dengue, malaria, pneumonia, typhoid. After that they goes into stasis or offensiveness and desire finding air in motions. So most of the time there is a stagnation at the level of system. So in system stagnation, there is a slowness of the system. Stagnation from any of the element after direct precipitation into syphilitic state. Okay, syphilitic state goes into psychosis. So life threatening and result acute inflammatory disorders it goes into stagnation. You can directly think of coverage. Okay, so mostly collapse, I see coldness of the whole body, respirations, cold but want pain. Air anger, indifference to everything, it is the simplistic state of carbons. It is not worth to come out from the bed because very, very indolent slowness of the physical exertion. So stagnation, stagnation leads to the asthenic disposition, asthenic means weakness. Uselessness, I don't want to move, I don't want to uh, interrupt or I don't want to be in an active part. So I become listlessness because of lack of energy, sluggishness, too inert, anxiety, aggravated in the dark. This is a soric stage. Loss of vitality with a cold, clammy, sweaty. 
So vitality means the person goes into state of deterioration along with the concomitant symptoms, physical symptoms, cold, clammy, sweating. Clammy means when you touch the person, you feel the wetness. Coldness and wetness, this is called cold and clammy sweat. Unfortunate feeling, 4 second feeling, everything is lost, given up, laxity at respiratory, CVS and GIT and all system. So this is what 4 second feeling, everything is lost, finally land into sublytic state. Mentally, mentally very timid, quiet, full of anticipations, angry but suppress it. Immunity keep anger within, which express in terms of sarcasm. And sarcasms, out of that sarcasm, they make verses, and that verses is I had you had heard in the videos. No? So that is affection. Again, they are historically very affectionate. High living, element from debauchery, mostly in the creosote. Old age and overlifting. Overlifting means any physical exertions can lead to the disturbances. Depletion, loss of fluid, pressure of the clothes aggravates, suppressed discharge aggravates, and extreme of the flatulence. When there is extreme of flatulence, it is known as and anger cannot express, you can directly think of arrhythmia. Physically, physically there is an internal burning, but external there is a coldness. So burning and a coldness. Very opposite aspect of the physical PQR. No? The coldness is what? Whatever coldness, cold, clammy, perspiration. So that is a coldness. Again, there is a cyanosis because of lack of circulations, blue networks of the veins on the skin. Shock after operations. <coughs> Thirsty. Milk and fat aggravates. Fullness in the stomach. Why milk and fat aggravates? Every fat get digested very slowly. Carbohydrate digested very easily. Protein is the second one and the fat is the third one. So the slowness of digestion which aggravates because of fat. So the fat is aggravating. Fullness in the stomach interfere with the respiration. Itra gas ho jata hai ki gas ki wajah se saas lene mein dikkat ho jata hai. That is what the patient is expressing in terms of fullness of the stomach interfere with the respiration. So anticipations, side right and it affect on the liver. So it act upon the venous circulation, especially the capillary, where the blood seems to stagnate, causing blueness, coldness, and leading to destructions of that. It is called as achymosis beneath the skin. So when there is achymosis, blueness, and coldness, we can thought of the ophelia most of the time because they have a hemorrhagic remedy. Okay, but at that time you can think of carbon also. Stasis. The excessive tiredness, weakness, profuse perspirations, perspiration is the cold clammy, blood circulation sluggish, stagnations, faintness, morning rising, more. very important. Why? See, every rest gives amelioration. When it started getting active, so at that time activation, the slowness of circulation is good, so it cannot produce to the brain and person goes into faint. So this is what faintness, morning rising, more. So when the person rise from that, faintness starts. So this is very uh, peculiar symptoms of carbons, carbo waste. Faintness, sleep after. Why sleep after? Again, it is the same. After waking from sleep, they have to go into activity. So that activity gets affected the slowness of circulation and lead to the faintness. So all, all the psychotic defects at work, fatness, slowness, fatness means the thickness, Slowness and in carbo with hypopsychosis and less of elastic. So Gibson comment on the mental and emotional level, the asthenic disposition manifests itself in the different way. The patient is listless, indolent, sluggish, indifferent, too inert to have interest in anything, and otherwise can be irritable and easily excitable <coughs> with alternating moods. To understand everything, first and foremost thing, very important. Indifferent to family. Thus, sadness. When you find these two things, no need to prescribe any remedy, prescribe Kambu. Smoking sarcasm and indifferent to his family. <coughs> family ke saamne nahi bole ga, par family ki maare ga. That is what smoking sarcasm. 
sarcasm and abrupt so i said sarcasm you all have understood abrupt is unexpectedly sudden terminating suddenly rather gradually okay and sarcasm is something that the cutting off with the ironic remark internet the wound a form of wit that is marked by use of sarcastic language and is intended to make its victim but of contempt or ridicule so in that a different form is abrupt is just a cut off intended to cut suddenly terminate suddenly express suddenly whereas in a sarcasm it goes into indirect way when to rule out carbo waste when the patient is very fast active sudden violent symptoms carbo waste is ruled out the leaking headache never throbbing then you have to rule out carbon if there is a throbbing that means activity of blood vessels and there is a throbbing headache don't give carbo waste red discoloration of the face with the anger or excitement rule out the carbo waste because red is in the plethora it is a acute circulation there is a no slow sense of circulation so rule out the no hp of liver or gastric problem rule out carbo carbo waste specifically there is always sir ye 20 saal se gas ka problem jata hi nahi hai so when the person is like feeling like this you can rule in the carbo waste but person says mujhe pet ki koi shikayat hi nahi hui aaj tak rule out the carbo waste okay if person wake up fresh in the morning rule out the carbo waste very important because the rest gives everything but when it goes into activity it get aggravated okay so when there is a person is wake up fresh in the morning then rule out the carbon arteria or profuse bleeding again you can rule out the carbon there is a passive <coughs> bleeding in the carbon another remedy carbo animal is they are going little bit faster but just a revision of the everything so what is carbo animal there is a strong homesickness पेशेंट ऑलवेज सेस हमारे जमाने में ये था हमारे जमाने में वो था वो मैं मिस कर रहा हूँ मेरे जमाने में ये था वो था तो दैट इज व्हाट द कार्बो एनिमल इज इज स्ट्रांग होम सिकनेस पास्ट टाइम वाज गुड व्हेन आई वाज यंग एंड दे हैव राइट नाउ द फीलिंग ऑफ 4 सेकंड द पर्सन इज वेरी फीबल स्लो पेनफुल प्रोसेस विद द बर्निंग सो बर्निंग इज इंडिकेशंस ऑफ कार्बो एनिमल इज व्हेन यू थिंक ऑफ कैंसर प्लस कार्बन यू कैन चूज कार्बो animalis cutting burning pains very important is a burning pain is a clear characteristic of the carbo animals and more mark weakness than carbo waste so there is a more weakness in the carbo animals so when you find the cancers and malignancy plus carbon characteristic you can directly think of carbo animals again the brooder brooder of the past things so what Uh, sarkar sir has mentioned in his book that uh, when you find cancer plus carbon state plus natural state a brooder or a home sickness you can directly think of carbo animalis uterine affection similar to sepia with a saddle on the nose but it is a malignancy so when you think this is sepia cancer of the uterus sepia saddle like across the nose everything is like this and sepia will not work you can think of carbo animalis foul acrid discharges all the discharges are foul sluggy circulation and distended veins straining by lifting emptiness not emptied by eating stony hardness of the gland so when there is a stony hardness of gland it indicate cancer clear cut indications of the cancer metastatic lymph node Okay, the stony hardness. Which are the another remedy of stony hardness? Bacteria flow. Stony hardness of the glands. Another remedy is scrofularia nodosa. Stony hardness of the gland. When the gland is pliable and soft, the remedy plus cancer. And there is a cancer plus gland is soft and pliable. The remedy is lapis albus. Lapis albus is combined of the silica, fluoride, and calcarea. Silicocalcium fluoride. That was the lapis albus. Okay, it is a remedy for the cancer. But cancer with the soft, pliable lymph glands. Very important. 
Okay. Another remedy for the cancer is Serena. When there is a cancer plus worm infestation, you can directly think of Serena. Serena is for the hardness of the cancer. Sarcoma. We have a graphitis. So carboanalysis is gone. Are you getting me what carbon plus weakness plus tendency to malignancy plus sepia like all symptoms plus malignancy, offensiveness of the discharge and hardness of the gland. That's all for the carbon. Is it? Graphitis. Graphitis we have uh, G R A P H I E E S. Everything is in very simple way. The all discharge is gluey. See what happened? We have understood the two, two part of the protein in uh, carbons. One is the elastin and one is a fibrin. So in a gluey discharge is because of albumin. So all albumin is excreted more and more and more into graphitis which leads to the gluey discharge, honey like colors of the discharge. Again, when you find honey like color of the discharge, you can another remedy think of is mesarium. Mesarium has also gluey discharge. Thick crust like discharge. Below that thick crust there is a full of pus. It is a misery. Okay? So gluey discharge, riding carriage aggravated. The hearing is only aggravated by riding. The rest, every symptom is there. Why riding carriage aggravation? Because graphitis cannot adjust the motions. Because any exertion bring on aggravation. So the motions got aggravated at the level of organ of water in the ear and that lead to the disturbances of the autolith and that autolith is not acting properly so it lead to the riding in carriage aggravations you know? so most of the time but the hearing is only emulated by and because the autolith gets stimulated the organ of water and it stimulates ultimately the vestibular system that's why the, a very important modality in graphitis is, is hearing, hardness of hearing emulated by riding in carriage whereas all the symptoms are aggravated by riding in carriage. Are you getting me? This is a pathology. A for A represent the mental aspect of anxiety, anticipations and the reactions is always weeping. So always element from anticipation. Again, what is another sympathetic reaction of graphitis? Laugh on reprimand. <coughs> Very important. The child is very insensitive and they laugh on reprimand. This is a syphilitic reaction of graphitis. The pulsatilla like symptoms, P represent change of in wavering mind, indecision, inconstancy, wandering pains, and everything. Again, fibrin excess. So, fibrin excess lead to the hardness, thickness, everything in the body at the level of mind is soft. So, what is the very different aspect of understanding? <coughs> indolence, all carbons are indolence, aversion to work, chemid and tumor, eruptions, thick scaling, cracks and fissures, and the mental aspect is always sarcastic. Very simple person, gentleness, timid, bashful, pleasant, quiet, unassuming, matter of the fact people, uncomplicated, pure, tend to say they what they think. This is what you have to understand. They are a simple, simple person. Like Baraita. Right? Baraita. You can think like, mild hai, timid hai, changeable hai, indecisive hai. So, pehla dimang mein hai, Baraita hai. So, Sitila hai. So, it is something like, but the pathology is something hard. Mental level is very slow, soft. So, you can think it is a controversy. So, when you find mind and body is not acting properly, you can think of this graphitis. So what is graphitis versus calcarea? So more sensitive than the calcarea, graphitis. Why? Because graphitis is component of two things. One is the iron component, one is the carbon component. So in due to iron component, there is a lot of sensitivity. Graphitis is a left-sided remedy. So there is more sensitiveness than the calcarea. More emotional than the calcarea. More introspective than the calcarea. Because calcarea is very extroverted and very esteemed kind of personality. More shines in the calcarea. More earthy means down to earth personality than the calcarea. And more deep acting than the 
el que ya. So it is more than el que ya. Some of the themes of graphite is softness like Balsarilla but more deeper. Remain quieter even in a familiar companies. Charitable like Balsarilla, Netram, Calcarea, somewhere between Netram and Calcarea car. You can think of graphite. E-resolution and moodiness in this money relationship. Graphite is Balsarilla, Calcarea, hate this money for long time. This is called disharmony. So, natrum, ignatia, sepia, stephy, graphitis, pulsatilla, and calcarea all wants harmony in the family. Okay. Expression, they express weeping and emotions. They are easily affected. Magnetism emulates. They are present to us as obesity. So, graphitis is we have thoughts. Fat, flabby, chilly, obese, and constipated. This is something called as graphitis with the hardness of the skin complex. Okay? Pain sister from one part laying on th thick, hard skin, gland, eyelids, nails, scars, callosity and stool. So when there is a hardness at the level <coughs> of everything because of excess of fibrin, you can think of graphitis. To rule out graphitis, you have to touch the hand of the graphitis. If there is a, th a softness, don't press like graphitis. <coughs> Excoriation, cracks, fissure, droopy eyelids, hunger, aggravates, niggling appetite. So, uh, how we differ from the graphitis from the other carbons? So, all carbons are right sided, graphitis is left sided, all carbons are non sensitive, graphitis is sensitive because of iron element into that. And ferrum is sensitive to noise, sensitive to external uh, disharmony, sensitive to contradictions, and everything. So, same way there is a sensitivity and there is a sensitivity that's why their emotion become very sentimental they are full of grief they have a changeable mental state and their reactions is like pulsating or weeping time okay so this is what something different than the carbon because graphite is uh, all carbons are mostly non-emotional slow sluggish and stable kind of their understanding graphite is so this is what I am telling you that the carbon property, slow, chilly, timid, indolent, sarcastic, fat, round, hardness. Whereas the ferrum property, sensitive, offended easily, left dead, pseudo plethora, before and during headache, and sensitive to order. Okay. So how can you find in clinic? So in a clinic you can find a fat, flabby, chilly, large, hard, notice tool, plus glutinous discharge, plus Hardness, roughness of the hand when shaking, plus thick, crippled, deformed nail, plus cracks at the mucopitaneous junctions, especially rule out the nitric acid and condurango. When you find a cancer, plus cracks at the mucopitaneous junctions at the corner of the mouth, the first time you think is condurango. The scaly deaf dandruff, crack behind the ears, so crack behind the ears suggests it is a remedy for. P.S. Psoriasis. Scales on the eyes, obese with a long standing grief. So these are the clinical indications. Another clinical indication, person is very very chronically sad with a grief, with a weeping, timid, anxiousness and indecisive like pulsatilla and thuja. Like pulsatilla and thuja. But chilly, left sided, thirsty, physically tired. Again, very important. The tendency of physical is very important. Patient always says, Sir, it's very important. What is it? What is it? What is it? Tendency to yawn. So this tendency to yawn means, what is yawn? The pathophysiology behind yawn is, you are taking a deep breath and you are giving oxygenation to the brain. So this yawning that the oxygenation to the brain is going lower down. That's why you are starting yawning more and more and more. So this is what tendency to yawn. And tendency to stretch means the laxness of the fiber which cannot help to restore the circulation. So they want always stretching. So once the person who have tendency to stretch and tendency to yawn, you can think graphite. Tendency to blue black discoloration of the nail. People who hate flowers and hate music, even though sensitive, 
they had music and they had flowers and timid but fast sarcastic remark these are the graffitis very important aspect of late menses in a young girl it is a pcod very important remedy in nowadays the pcod indolent though intelligent very intelligent but indolent young children they are very insolent impertinent and laugh at everyone because it is a sinusoidal state they goes into this state very rude to elders even abusive to the elders and parents fat fabric boy with undress on waist itna pet upar aise rehta this is what something very important tremendous sexual desire but body does not support physically weak make the person desire for magnetism throat symptoms it's okay fine so when there is, when you find hardness of the hand you can think of this remedy natrium you have also hardness of the hand sulfur has of the hardness of the hand with the hotness ammonium carb has also hardness of the hand calcarea flour has also hardness of the hand and graphite is also has hardness of the hand this is because of excess of hardness what is the need of the graphite is they can't be a disharmony so they want safety into the environment and family that's why their, their need is safety so balance of carbohydrate protein and fat what i am saying is is like that the sweet causes nausea aversion to fat and fat is thrown in the urine this is what something we have seen our rapidly sweet causes nausea aversion to fat and fat is thrown in the urine so what happened carbohydrate food for the for the brain so intelligent brain require more carbohydrate so that the brain cell functions well the graphite is busy in synthesizing more of albumin protein parts and gluten that requires more protein so carbohydrate and fat are thrown out of or not taken in because they need only protein okay and that's why they have sweets carbohydrate agarose because i don't need that and ever going to fat why is it and fat gets inside it cannot digest it and it cannot digest it it can goes out to the excretion so it is fat is thrown into urine okay so graphite is developed ever going to sweet or fat so when you find sora goes into syphilis the anxiety goes into anguish in ladies if mens is not appear pcod okay weeping sadness goes into despair sensitivity goes into insensitivity resulting into laughing at reprimand this is a sore case goes into sublimated state in the patient this is graphitis <coughs> another remedy petroleum we are going little bit fast so petroleum so petroleum is a what angry remedy fast remedy unstable easily excited easily vexed timid affected easily confused irresolution quarrelsome after alcoholism in soluble anxiety of people who left him alone and position concern very important aspect of petroleum is when you find the person having the feeling that i need to must settle the affair unless i would die in a nearest future and having must hurry in that any of the pathology you can just prescribe petroleum you will get wonderful result must settle the affair hurry must settle the affair okay there is alternating state so it is a dullness excitement exu- exuberance excitement timidity excitement so it is something called hysterical kind of presentations petroleum same riding aggravation i said riding aggravation also affect the petroleum also so there is a motion sickness tremendous dryness there is a tremendous dryness lead to the cracks so the crack is affected especially in the mucous membrane especially on the skin again there is a discharge or as all carbon is offensive discharge again there is a slowness of circulation so wound heals slow there is a very important aspect of differentiation is all carbons are slow but petroleum manifestation is very sudden and fast so petroleum is fast because petroleum is lack of psychosis sora to syphilis okay so that is why the suddenness of manifestation 
तो स्किन इज वेरी ओवर परस्पिरेशन ऑन वन पार्ट ब्लडी परस्पिरेशन अगेन ब्लडी परस्पिरेशन वी हैव अ ओफिडिया इन दैट रेमेडी प्रोटोस फाइनस सो माइज्मेटिक जर्नी सो माइज्मेटिक जर्नी डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम सोरा टू सिफिलिस ऑलवेज बिकॉज़ इन अ कार्बन माइज्मेटिक जर्नी सोरा ऑयल एंड सोरा गोस इनटू साइकोसिस फॉर अ लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग पीरियड वेयरएज इन पेट्रोलियम सोरा डायरेक्टली गोस टू सिफिलिस व्हाट हैपेंड व्हेन सोरिक इरप्शन एंड गेट्स सप्रेस it goes directly into syphilis so it started bleeding cracks in the hand car sickness so car sickness because of intolerance to car in the riding is destroyed okay so again alternating state it is a hysterical kind of state so over sensitivity goes into syphilitic state mentally goes into confusion of identity direction location and exertion so this is what destruction of intellect from sora get destruction of the intellect So intellect lead to the locality. Cannot recognize the known place. Cannot recognize the same street. Even cannot recognize who is uh, sitting in me beside me, or having a perception that someone is sitting. There are maybe two babies in my bed, or there is someone beside me. So these are the perception because of clouded intellect. Okay. Again, they goes into destruction of their identity. So Sora gets distracted into the identity, so that lead to the manish identity, the so manish behavior of the girl, and there is a false perceptions which lead to that body is double, the body is made up of wood, and the someone is lying next to her bed. So when you find a manish habit of the girl, we have a six remedy in our uh, repertory. So when you find hot remedy, it is natrumure, platinum, and fluoric acid, and it is a chilly remedy, carbovage, petroleum, and fluoric acid. <coughs> so what is that difference between carbovage and petroleum so carbovage is extremely dull whereas petroleum has lot of emotions carbovage is unemotional petroleum has emotion which is anger and very easily angered carbovage is slow whereas petroleum is frightened easily single direction remedy quarrel some remedy paroxysmal affections no changeability Sorosyphilitic, alternating state, changeability is there. Hysterical kind of genetic tendency to produce looseness. Okay, whereas the genetic tendency to produce destruction at the level of skin in form of thickening, hardness, and cracks, and at the level of mind it produce destruction of the intellect. So mostly the perception has changed, and the symptoms and emotion always alternate and come suddenly and go suddenly. It is a slow remedy. It is a fast remedy. Very important. Difference. Cryozoite. So cryozoite has the five component: rapidity, putridity, hot burning, corrosive discharge, contradictory symptoms, easy bleeding tendency, chilly, old looking, lean, and restless. When you find in a repertory, tall remedy. So tall remedy has we have a typically known phosphorus cryozoite, calcarea phos. So when you find phosphorus like constitutions. But very very offensive, very fast, very rapid destruction goes into cyclic state. You can think of cryozoite. Again, when there is an angry phosphorus, phosphorus is very affectionate, loving, loving kind of personality. But when you find an angry type of phosphorus with destructions and a cancer, you can think of cryozoite. So rapidity of so in rapidity there is a rapid emaciation, decay of the teeth. All this is progress very fast. So again, this is a fast carbon. Petroleum is also fast carbon. Sudden manifestation. Cryozoite is also fast carbon. Progressing fast. So syphilis is very fast in this cryozoite. The blood ooze is very fast. Anemia very fast. So you can find out anemia, aplastic anemia. Putridity. Putridity in all the discharge. So it can be a nasal discharge, leukorrhea, urine, ulcers, bad odor from the decayed teeth, or any of the excretion of body. It can be diarrhea, it can be stool, anything. So it is put in detail. Discharge along with there is a hotness of the discharge which burns and corrodes the particular part mostly. So that lead to the soreness, burning, excoriation of the particular part. Redness is the indications. It can be anywhere of the orifice, any orifice. 
saliva, saliva get corroding, so it may be a cracks here, and there is a redness in here. If the female having a leucorrhea, so there is a labia like menorrhea, majora get corroding, and there is a redness and everything. Okay. If there is a nasal discharge, so there is a nares are corroding redness, like Arab refiners, corroding discharges. So this is what something burning corroding discharge. Bleeding, it acts directly on the blood vessels, it destroys the blood vessels because of the fibrin and elastin was destroyed and that leads to the easy hemorrhage. So it would bleed easily, gum bleed easily, service bleed on touch. So when you find service bleed on touch, person says that every time I used to have a sex, I need to have a bleeding. This is called cervical erosion and it is a pre-cancerous state of cervix. So most of the time when you find a lady comes to you and says that whenever we have a coition, I had a bleeding after that. That is something called as cervical erosion. Okay? Acute hemorrhage followed by insanity, very important, I said to you earlier. Forgetfulness after epistaxis. What are the contradictory symptoms of creosote? Like Ignatia, the pain, dysmenorrhea, aggravated after menses. Dysmenorrhea, it happened before menses, but it always aggravated after menses. So flow when lying down. So it, there is no gravity, law of gravity is here. Flow when lying down, when standing and walking, flow stop. This is contradictory like Ignatia. Urinate only when lying down. But when standing, no urination comes. Again, she had a dreams of urination. She said, she feels that I had a dreams of urination, but actually there is a urination. So there is no control over that. It wet the bed. Okay? Again, same, stop being start. Menses intermittent stops and restart in the full flow. So patient comes that ek mahina thi period aaya hai, amna bedi pehla ban jiyo, paachu chalu jiyo, paachu yehu nahi ho. So that is what stop being start. Okay? Same way also dist in the healings also ulcer heals. Apne bola ki heals hai use hai, paachu ulcer hi hoga. Okay? So creosote is indicated in old, scrawny, wrinkled face, emaciated, chilly woman who having a very bad odor from the body, having a tendency to the cancer. Especially cancer of the cervix, who treat leucorrhea, offensive urine, and elevated urine with the cuff. They, when they enter into clinic, your clinic becomes so offensive. This is what creosote. Again, the need of the creosote, all carbon need is safety. Small children, so all small children, in a small children, when you think of creosote, there is a decay of the teeth. Teeth decay as soon as it appears. There is a bleeding gums, shrieking thin, crowning old looking infants, cry from sunset to sunrise. Okay. Another carbon is lapis granite marble. So what is lapis granite marble? It is a hardened silica, it is a rock. Granite has very very important aspect, it is mentally very indolent but very very haughty kind of personality. All the carbon are timid, but granite is very haughty. Very, very haughty. Haughty, introverted, unemotional. Only emotion is anger. <coughs> very, very dominating kind. Hard hearted persons. No feelings. Very cruel. And nothing moves. Everything is hard. So the granite is itself hard. So at mental level, there is so much so hardness. So only emotions is anger, no attachment at all. Very very haughty, dominating kind of personality. Myasm, hyperpsychosis, there is an excess of fibrin. So fibrin made them tough, the part and that becomes so hard. So all the complaints become, all the symptoms become harder. So what is that hardness? Hardness mostly on the glands. So hardness of the glands it can be found in calcarea floor. Baranita Muir, Conayam, Calendula, Granite, etc. So what is the difference between Granite and Marble? Both are from the same family. So Granite has more haughtiness, more contemptuous, reproaches others like Platina, Rock Solid, 
अनमूवेबल लाइक नाइट्रिक एसिड डोमिनेटिंग एंड डिक्टेटोरियल लाइक लाइकोपोडियम वेर एस मार्बल मार्बल एज इको डेल्यूजन ही इज अ किंग डेल्यूजन ही इज अ किंग बोथ हैव मनी एंड इमोशन सो ग्रेनेट हैज लॉट ऑफ मनी लॉट ऑफ इगो बट दे हैव इंडिफरेंस टू मनी इंडिफरेंस टू स्टेटस इवन रिलेशन एंड नो इमोशन वेर एज मार्बल इज वेरी वेरी अवेर एज रिगार्डिंग द मनी डिजायर मोर देन रिचिज और लग्जरी एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ अदर्स डिजायर मोर देन नीड्स तो दिस इज वॉट मार्बल स्टेबिलिटी द ग्रेनाइटिस इज मोर स्टेबल दिस इज नो एंटीसिपेशन लेक मार्बल एज अ कैप्टिशियसनेस एंड मोर एंटीसिपेशन इंट्रोवर्ट एंड एक्सट्रोवर्ट ग्रेनाइट इज इंट्रोवर्टेड Lab marble is also introverted, but there is a rubric called as communicative expansive wherein it is given. It is communicative expansive. Caresses. Lab marble like caresses and a psychotic remedy, whereas granite hate caresses and psychosomatic remedy. So that's all for the end of whole carbon series and carbonicum from my side. Thank you so much. for patient listening